I just start recording and I just want to say that um, so for anyone who emailed me your homework, I think I might still have like a few left that I still need to take a look, um, which I will do it after class. Um, and yeah, so um, to start with fiction, actually, I want to ask Ethan, like, what's the most exciting thing like in your mind? Because it seems like you really like fiction. I can see your excitement from the chat. I mean, I just like fiction basically because you're basically able to like make up a lot of stuff and talk about things that might might not be real and just make up stuff, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I think that's why like people can write about like anything you want. Um, so just quickly mention like memoir because we were learning memoir like um like yeah like several weeks ago. So for memoir like it just has to be nonfiction. So I would say it's a pretty big jump because now we are going to do like something like which is not real like fiction. It's a totally different category. Yeah I'm going to share my screen. Yes so for fiction And get ready. So I will ask you three questions, which basically like similar to what I just asked Ethan, but yeah. Um, so do you like reading fiction? If you do, you can raise your hand or like just just like on mute to talk or like anything. No. <laughs> okay, wait. So for someone say no. Actually, wait, can you say can you tell me the reason? I don't really like fiction, but I don't really know why. I just like don't like it. I, I feel like well, maybe like I'm, I'm too attracted to like science and like being in like reality. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, but you know, there's like science fiction. So if you like science, I would say you can still do science fiction if you want. <laughs> um, yeah, but like the but like the general fiction, not really. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, like, because there are, like, so many types of fiction, which I don't even think I could have time to go over, like, all of them. So, I mean, but I already see, like, many hands raising. So, that's good to hear that so many people like fiction, because I would say fiction is, like, such, like, a broad topic. And also, like, I mean, you get to write whatever you want. So, I think you have more freedom than memoir, even though for memoir, you also get to write anything, like, you want, but it has to base on your experience. So, that's why I think fiction is more popular. Yeah, so thanks for um, everyone who raised their hand. Um, so, the second question is, what kind of fiction do you read? So like I just talked to Mason, right? So like you you could check out like science fiction if that's what you like. Um, but I also want to ask like the rest of the group. So what kind of fiction do you usually read? Okay, old types. That's cool. Um. Mm. Yeah, fiction has more possibility than not. Um, oh, okay, so all types of fiction. Okay, then I would say I could go on to the next question then, so I could like have a more specific idea, like um, which fiction is your favorite? Actually, you will have to just choose one, and I would say you can um, say a few or like, yeah, or like just name any fiction you like. So it doesn't have to be like the only one you like. Yeah, you can chat me and then. Mm, that sounds cool. Oh, I have seen some books like that I have never read before. Um, oh, okay. So I think Sophie mentioned poetry. Wait, no, it's not poetry. I mean, it's Percy Jackson. Or, um, okay, so okay, so I would say, um, so for people who just chat me, like, would any of you be willing to um and talk about like why do you like that fiction or like which part? Is there like specific part you really enjoy or like what's the reason like you choose to read it or like what makes you like it? For me, um, I like the. Percy Jackson series because well Greek mythology is really interesting there's all these 
gods and they have like different powers plus um rick roydian i don't know how to say his last name um he's a really good writer and he has lots of plots Mm -hmm. and there's many characters that have different aspects Mm, that's fair yeah and i think yeah so um because you just mentioned like the plot like character i think that's also something you would want to um pay attention to when you write your own fiction yeah and we can go over to that later um okay so what about anyone else i like reading percy jackson and harry potter um can you talk me a little bit more like why do you like to read those Because they're all adventures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say like Harry Potter is, is interesting just because I know some people don't like it, like some people do. Um, so does everyone like Harry Potter here? Or I mean, because I don't really have like a strong opinion. I, mean, I, really I have a, I have an I kind of like. I have an on and off liking of Harry Potter. Like sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> It's kind of strange. Yeah, like I just found it to be interesting. Um, okay, and for Wings of Fire, okay, Sophie, would you like to talk a little bit more? Like, what do you like about this fiction? Um, I like Wings of Fire because it's like really adventurous. Mm-hmm. Wait, there's two Sophies. Oh, there are. Oh, yeah, Wings okay. of Fire. Um, I just see that. Okay, I will call on like Sophie's math last name. So like, yeah, so you know like which I was referring to. Um, what wings of fire? Oh, so wings of fire. It's a book. It's, yeah, it's a name of. It's the a book. really good book. It's a it's a book about like um dragons. for dragons like they have their different kingdoms and like um uh, and like if they get together and try to fight stuff. I guess. So it's more like three arcs. Yeah, three arcs. First arc, they're in a war. Second arc, they fight a big evil. And third arc, they also fight a big Third arc, they fight mind control, evil plan. Yeah, breath of evil. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting to know. And actually, Dark Stalker. So I was thinking is I think people just send me like a list of like a name of books. So because the chat is like private. So what about I collect those name and then like post it in Google Classroom so the rest of like class could see like uh, which book they are talking about. So yeah, because I like the chat is private. Um yeah. Um okay, I think that sounds good. Um I can do that after class. So and I think it's always good to keep up like the reading habit because when I see like all oh, of this name, um, I feel like I wanted to read uh, fiction too. Um, wait, so for Addie, you just said, um, wait, Addie, which like, what is the message you just said? Like you said like they break the mind control or? In Wings of Fire, they have to break the mind. Uh, I can't hear. I think it's my internet. Yeah, it's something like that. Wait, is that like your internet or like it's it's in my internet? I don't think it's my internet, but okay. Well, I, I can hear. I can hear you perfectly fine. The yeah. fifteen book. The fifteen book is new. So okay. yeah. Is, wait, is the fifteen book about Luna? Yes. It's the Flames of Hope. It's not My that. Friend already got That's it. not new. That's it's been there like for like more than a month already. Like much. It's the history of the whole scorching, or most of it. A month is relatively new, to be honest. She got it like right after his release, and I still can't find online. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think, okay, that's a good conversation. And yeah, I just learned like some interesting fiction book. Um, so thanks for everyone for sharing. And I'm glad like oh, many people like to read fiction because I think when you like to read fiction, then you would have like an idea how to write them on your own, even though I feel like I don't even write that many fiction because probably not creative enough. Like, I don't think there's that many stuff um, going on. So um okay we are gonna move on 
Yes, so first I start um, um, today's like last one with a quote. So um, can someone read the quote? It's pretty short and it's from uh, Steph, uh, Stephen King, I believe. Yeah, can someone read it for me? Fiction is the truth is not a lie. a lie. Yes, so can someone tell me what do you think like this quote mean? Or, um, I saw two people raise their hand, so you could just um unmute and talk like yeah probably like one by one so i can get to hear you can just say your understanding and then like i would explain it afterward uh, oh um is that how do you pronounce it is that celestial or can you can you unmute and tell me your name or because you just raise your hand got to put it down sorry oh <laughs> no you're fine okay so um then do anyone have like idea or like mm, can can you tell me like what's your understanding when you read like i think it's it's like we have like a ball that's not true but inside that's mostly not true but there's a tiny bit of truth and that truth is fiction yes oh okay actually that's that's pretty good yes like um so for i would say like so for fiction it's like it's a truth inside the lie probably because fiction is like normally like not true which is like um, totally opposite to nonfiction, which we were talking about like earlier. However, it also can be true sometimes. So it really depends on situation. So what does the quote say? Um, so fiction is made up and that's a fact like so fundamental that libraries like get divided into fiction and nonfiction. Oh, so fundamental, it's like basic, like it's, yeah, that's what it mean if you don't understand this word. Um, and if you like to go to a library or like go to a bookstore, I bet like you can always see like the title telling you like, oh, fiction, nonfiction. Um, so, so they're like divided, like all life got divided into plants and animals um which means they're pretty different and the uh, but the fact that fiction is a lie doesn't mean that it can't tell truth um in fact the best fiction delivers truth along with story um, i would say so for fiction like it can also like write based on um like your story but like you could change something and then like it turns into a fiction but the original idea is that's like what actually happened um oh okay okay i really like how people are, like questioning the statement okay so so first i want to say um it's right like mason just talk about like um what about microorganisms so you almost turned my writing class into a science class but i mean that's fine and i mean i'm glad you pointed out because i think so for this statement here um I <laughs> so I think for this statement here, I don't think it's necessarily like means like oh like oh life like on Earth is only divided into plants and animals. Is that it's just give you two examples? Yeah. Um. And also for Sophia, I saw like you said like it's not divided between. Mm which is really it's true and you're right because they only make like a small part on earth um so i think the example here is kind of give you an idea between like um for the difference between fiction and nonfiction, just like for the library like the books in the library so fiction nonfiction are like only two categories in the library so it doesn't mean like all oh, the book have to be fiction and nonfiction. um is that like I mean but actually oh actually I would say like usually like they can fall into like fiction and nonfiction. but um I mean right now I think I'm kind of getting stuck like thinking of like examples like which is non not fiction or nonfiction. uh so I mean can someone think about like anything like any kind of book like it's not like fiction but it's also not nonfiction. Cause I think right now, 
I, I would say like actually most book would be divided into those two categories. So probably books is a little different than hers then. Um, oh wait, for Rhea, you just said like, you don't see two groups in your library. Like, what do you mean? Do you mean like, you don't see like the books divided into fiction and nonfiction? Yeah. Really? What about anyone else? But I really think they should point it out like the type of books. So it's easier for people to look for though. I think it depends on the library then. I but say. I was really I only a child and I never really noticed. So maybe. I think the libraries are ordered according to the Dewey Decimal System, not nonfiction and fiction. Um, but what about like, um, so I'm thinking is what about like, they will tell you like, um, for certain like, so for different shelf, like, I mean, probably it's different, I would say then, because for my high school library, so there's like, um, different section, and it's like, fiction, like, novel, including like novel, um, picture books. Maybe that's only for older kids, because I think that most of the place places where daddy visited, that was when I was a really little child. And so I think it was probably for little people little girls and boys and maybe that's why they weren't divided mm, yeah yeah i would say uh, that's really good like you say that because that makes sense um yeah and and yeah i would say probably from like when you go to high school or like later in your education life you find out like it will be more specific probably the teacher will know like oh you need to search different kind of book and I think Rhea is right, probably just because you're at like a young age and then like the books are not that like specifically um, categorized. Oh, um, okay, someone in the waiting room. Yeah, we can move on. So what is fictional writing? Because we just talk a lot about fiction and I think people have like a really good idea like about fiction because you like to read fiction. So um, I would say I'm not worried about like your fictional writing now because I believe you would be more creative than me um, because there are many things going on. Um, okay, so before I go on, I'm actually going to read um, Sophia's chat. So um, you said like your library is... Um, in like more precise than non-fiction. And it is categorized in, oh, mm, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say so uh, for what you just mentioned, I would say so for fiction and non-fiction are like the um, very big category, but like there are like so many different type of books like fall into those, just like you mentioned, fantasy, like uh, science fiction, like those would be count as fiction. And like um, memoir, like biography or like autobiography, we have learned earlier. So you should hear, you should be familiar with those. They would be in nonfiction, I believe. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Fiction writing is writing that is created in the author's imagination. And the author of a fictional work invents the characters, plot line, dialogue, and sometimes the story setting. Um, so what is fiction book? A fiction book usually called like a novel, which like I think it's something you read. Um, it's just one of the many forms of fiction writing. Wait, actually someone just write on my side. Who is writing? Can I tell? Actually, I don't think I can tell who's writing, but yeah, I mean, okay. You can, if you can. If you look closely, like, like, like when they, when they just no. type on it, you can probably see. You can yeah, see. it's like, it's, there's a little box that says um the person's name who is writing on the screen. Like, oh, wait, really? Wait, wait, hold yeah. on. Wait, let me. But you have to look, obviously. right, when they write. Right it. after they Say, wire, gas, what? Wait, but, but right now, like, there's, like, many words, like, I don't really see it, so. Yeah, um, just, just, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, but, like, is there, like, a way? I can, I can. Rhea. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I saw that. Okay, Rhea, can you know how to that? disable can you and writing or erase? Or no, you have to go to annotate. 
No, no, all you have to do, all you have to do is disable the, all you, you, you can first disable the, the annotation so that nobody, yeah, so that and then you can just erase the stuff. Okay, well, I feel like I'm learning something new every day, but for annotation, I don't think there's a place, like, I mean, I can erase it, but I don't think there's a place for me to disable it. No, 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 it's in, like, the meeting settings or something, like, I know. Uh, oh, okay. No, it's in the, at the top, it says view options, and then you click on that. On the top of your recording, it says view options, and mm -hmm. then there's annotate. You click on that, and then when and then you see clear, you click on that, and then you oh, okay, I, I saw it. I saw stuff it. they have also in meeting settings, you can disable annotate. Okay, actually, I saw it. Yeah, thanks for your help. Um, I think I already um disabled it, so yeah, um, you did I mean, great, right? I think the screen is clear now, and yeah. Okay, and yeah, and I hope people like, yeah, I feel like sometimes I probably don't have to stop it if people like don't draw on something. Yeah, okay, then I'm just gonna move on. So, um, yeah, so where I was, oh, okay, it's just, so works of fiction do not claim that like a story is true. Nevertheless, those works can significantly impact their audience and yeah like even the society so um, i would tell people because like i just say like the quote like fiction is usually like um it's usually like not true but it also can be true sometimes so i want to give you an example by showing you a video from youtube it's about realistic fiction <laughs> well, hi there, new friend. Did you just realistic fiction writing for kids? Episode one. What is it? Realistic fiction is a genre or type of writing. Realistic means that something seems real. Fiction means stories that are not real. So realistic fiction is a type of writing that seems like it could be real, but it isn't. The things that happen in the story could really happen though. In realistic fiction stories, the characters seem like they could be real people or animals, but they usually aren't. That means no vampires or superheroes, just regular people. The same is true for the setting. A realistic fiction story wouldn't take place on the moon because that's not realistic. It may take place in a park or at a school. The events that happen in the story are also realistic. The problems that the characters face are real problems that could really happen to real people. So when we write realistic fiction, we use our imagination to create stories that haven't actually happened but they could. Are you ready to start writing your own realistic fiction story? Check out episode two to learn how to start brainstorming. Why couldn't it be about an astronaut that went on the moon? <laughs> I mean, you can write that in fiction just because it's not true. Okay, so I'm going to go back because we're not going to watch the brainstorm, like the episode two, which we will be like next class because this is like um, the next thing we're going to do.